you know, being in the crack era at the level that you were and, and doing drugs during that era, what do you think was the worst thing that you saw? The worst thing that I saw? Yeah. My friends getting killed. That was the worst thing that I saw. It was never the fact. I've never had to sell anything to buy my drugs. I've never been in no rehabs during that time because it was like a sport to us. Like either you played or you didn't. And when you played, you played hard. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it was uh, the worst thing that I've seen out of the crack ed- epidemic was people getting killed, people getting AIDS, friends dying, getting shot on the block, going to jail, still in jail to this day when you've got the, the director of Pfizer and these chemical companies that are sell the biggest drug dealers in the world right now and they're not being held accountable for what they're doing. You don't see none of them being arrested. They're just making money hand over fist. You know what I mean? And if you're out in the hood selling, selling any kind of dope trying to feed your family, you're going to jail for 20 years. You know what I mean? So there's like a real topsy-turvy in America. America just eats its young, like, like they said. Yeah, and I mean, of course, you had the, the Rockefeller laws that uh, gave, what, like 30 to 1 sentences of crack versus cocaine. So the, you know, if you got one year for this amount of cocaine, you would get 30 years for the same for, amount of crack. For crack, right. Yeah. Now, you got to think about it. Most of the big wigs were doing cocaine. Crack was a cheap drug that was directed and targeted towards the ghetto. It was a cheap high, didn't last long, and you're going to go back. It just was a repetitive thing, and you never was going to get the same high that you got the first time. I could tell you that for myself. It was never the same high that I got the first time I smoked the woo when I lifted out my seat and I was still in my chair. You know, you never got that. But you always was chasing it, chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. What got you to stop doing drugs? Well, God, matter of fact, I was still doing drugs along the way. It was just in spurts. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like I was hooked on none, just like people go home and drink and whatnot. That was what I did. I didn't drink. I got high off of cocaine. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. There's no yeah. being sorry for it or none of that. Okay, so you, you don't have an addictive personality. You can no, do it I and don't. then go on with your life. Yeah. Right, I can uh, go on. I, I mean, I've never sold any of my... You see, I'm still sitting here with vintage dinosaur equipment sitting here. You know what I'm saying? If I was on drugs that bad, none of this would be here. I wouldn't have a house. I wouldn't have cars. I wouldn't have motorcycles. I wouldn't have anything. You know what I'm saying? So it, it wasn't the thing of it took me over, but yeah, I know some people that it did take over. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you got to look at it. All my friends were drug dealers, so I didn't have to. You know, if I wanted it, I could go chip it off the brick if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So it was never a thing of me, oh, 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 I don't got it, and I want it, I want it. If I wanted it, I just go went chipped off the brick. Pow! That was it. That was it. And the right, story. So final question. Excluding yourself. Who do you think are the top five Queens MCs of all time? I don't never get into that. You want to know why? Because the greatest hasn't been born yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't never get in who's the top five, da, 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 this, that, and the third. But I will do a couple. Okay. LL. Mm -hmm. Queens, right? We talking Queens. 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 All right. We're going to talk Mikey Destruction. Who's that? See? See what I'm saying? Mikey Destruction used to rock with L. So I'm giving Mikey his prop because Mikey's still doing his thing. He just never made it into the big limelight like we all did, but Mikey is nice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else from Queens? I got to give Nikki some props. I got to give Nikki her props. Running them. I got to give runners props. D, was, D is my man. But D never was really nice on the mic, as, as I would, you know what I'm saying? D no, was, I, mean, I, I, I would say that, that Run was a stronger rapper than DMC. Run was it. Run, Run was nice with it. You know, I gotta, so I got to say Run, uh, Nas, 
Got to give Nas his props. Got to give Call Mega his props. I got to give Trash his props. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just can't stop at the five. I got to give. I got to give them their props. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Craig G. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is why I never get into that <laughs> five because you're limiting me. I don't like being limited. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Queens definitely have put out a, a lot of incredible artists. I mean, you could definitely look at like the legacy that Queens have, has left, and it, it's very impressive. And a lot of it has come from Queensbridge. It's the water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I remember I used to, uh, uh, I've done interviews with Nori, and uh, because... You gotta give Nori uh, his props. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> gotta give Nori his props. <laughs> Although saw, Nori at one point started doing, the, what's that, reggaeton? <laughs> he went and did his own thing. Ain't no problem with that. But he used to always tell me because, uh, you know, because Capone was from Queensbridge and he was from Left Rack and Queensbridge had a name, you know, because of you, that, that he would go back to Left Rack and everyone would be like, Queensbridge, Queensbridge. I think he ended up shooting someone over that shit one day. Like he got, he just got sick and tired of that shit. <laughs> And that's Nori. Nori's a fucking nut. I, I know he didn't calm down now and shit, but Nori's a nut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Capone too. Capone yeah, Capone too. is a nut too, but see, Capone didn't start out that way. Nope. No, Capone was a quiet kid in the projects back in the day, but when he started growing up and he went to jail... You know what I'm saying? That's when, that's when the, the Capone, Capone came out. You know, I knew his sister. I used to hang with his sister. You dig what I'm saying? On the block. And Vanessa and them, we used to be on the card tables all the time. And, and Capone, I ain't even going to say his government name, but he wasn't like that. But then when he turned like that. <laughs> right, because I remember I interviewed Ron Artest uh, a while ago. And he told me that he had seen like Capone get into a shootout with cops or, or some crazy shit like. And when his name was Vin and in it, that wasn't him. Right. <laughs> Capone was, he, something just clicked in his brain. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it clicked in his brain. And that boy went totally to the left of what he was when he was a younger kid. Yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes. Yeah, it happens. Because I'm totally to the left in my brain. I just calmed down, but I'm still, I'm still in that mode. Yeah, man, I feel you. I mean, it just, it just happens, whatnot. You know, I got grandkids now, so I can't be, uh, I was never that, you know, out there shooting and stuff like that. I knew the killers and all of that crazy crap. I could hang around with them. And the reason why they gave me my props is because I handled my own business before I would run and go get my killers or my dudes. You know what I'm saying? Before I would go run and tell Claudio, yo, I got beef. Or, or run and tell Gotti, yo, Gotti, I got beef. Big shout to Gotti too, Gotti. I ain't forget you, boy. Big shout to King Prince. You know what I'm saying? Big shout to Big D. These is the folks that I know. You know what I'm saying? But before I would run to any of these cats and say anything about something that I got into, I would handle it myself. G-Rap used to think I was just nuts. You know what I'm saying? G-Rap used to be like, yo, Shan, you gonna get us killed. Fuck them! <laughs> the hundred pounds that I was, you know what I'm saying? It just didn't matter, you know what I mean? It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. 